So now we're in autopilot mode. And so I'm gonna keep my hands close to the wheel. Um, and my foot is kind of next to the brake in case I need to take over. But the car is fully self-driving itself right now. Oh, it's doing the turn. Yeah, it's doing the turn. So there you go. Design. Wow. So now coming down to a stop sign. So this is totally the car. I'm just, uh, just supervising. Joshua Green is used to being in the driver's seat in his job as CEO of Misa, a booming tech company in St. John's. But for the past few weeks, he's been a passenger in his own car, a Tesla Model Y. Yeah, so this self-driving, full self-driving software um, has been in the United States now for about six months, but just recently it came to Canada. So there's about a thousand testers now uh, in Canada of this software. Tesla calls the software FSD, full self-driving, and it means what it sounds like. Yeah, so all we got to do here is on the map uh, is pick a destination that we want to go to and then uh, the car will drive us there. So uh, let's pick the Mary Brown Center right out front the Mary Brown Center. And so I'll just click navigate there. Cars in control. Cars in control. Although I'm going to have to take over again because it got in the wrong lane. So this is one of the challenges that it has right now. Sometimes it gets into the wrong lane and so you just need to fix that and then I'll put it back into autopilot and then uh, I'll just help it along. It has a few kinks, but that's the point of the beta test. The driving data from Green and all the other testers is being fed back to Tesla to refine and improve the software. Now this is a pretty tangly intersection this we're going to is, now. This one is not fun. It's one thing to navigate the grid-like streets of most cities, but how does it handle the weird, winding, centuries-old streets of downtown St. John's? So, uh, a lot of yielding going on. Need to turn left here. And then it's got to take an immediate right-hand turn. So it's a, it's a quick maneuver here after this uh, left-hand turn. Gets over. Wow, it nailed that one. Yeah. Cornering isn't its only move. Did it do that automatically? <laughs> it actually cleans the wiper automatically. So there's a camera up here, and the camera always needs to be clean. So the car will automatically just wipe and clean the windshield when it needs to for visibility. So this is a situation where there's a biker coming up and he's actually displayed here right on the screen. So if you notice, it slowed down and gave and yielded it to the bicycle. So to give the bicycler lots of room, which is really important. It's super cautious and conservative around pedestrians and bicycle as it should be. Green qualified as a beta tester because of his own cautious and conservative driving record, a record Tesla could analyze based on the time he's already spent behind the wheel of his Model Y. But Green says he feels just as safe now that the car is driving for him. I think people should think of it as no different as if it, I was actually driving the car. I've got my hands on the wheel, my foot next to the brake, and so if there was anything to occur, um, I'm ready and, and willing to take over as soon as I need to. So uh, the car knows that it's clear and makes the turn. Zach Gowdy, CBC News, St. John's.